afternoon slash no it's probably well it's kind of evening i feel really weird starting this vlog at this time because i don't think i ever start my vlogs in the evening but i wanted to vlog this week coming up and i actually wanted to vlog yesterday but i actually felt really really unwell and even this morning but i'm just gonna sit for a second so i've got a big winter's coat on as i'm just about to go out and the weather's actually not very nice which i'm not even complaining about because this house is actually turning into a greenhouse obviously i have so much glass and so it gets so insanely hot i actually worked out in my gym a couple of days ago and it said that it was 35 degrees in there and i don't have aircon in the gym and it was just like i opened up all the doors but it was just as hot outside so yeah anyways this house is getting so hot so i'm actually not complaining about the fact that i'm wearing a coat right now also it actually makes me so excited for autumn fashion like, i've totally just changed the subject here but i've been on pinterest since i've just been on wow all i've been doing is like sleeping or going on my phone when i can't sleep because i've been in so much pain and i've just been looking at like autumn fashion and like saving so much and i actually can't wait for it so don't want to be that person to push the sun away but i actually am really really genuinely excited for autumn i think because the uk as much as I do love the summer my house is just not meant for it to be hot and if I don't have plans like to go to the beach or whatever then I don't really enjoy it because I'm like it is un like the past few days it has actually been unbearable hot but anyways I sound like a proper Brit because we complain when it's cold and we complain when it's hot anyways um yeah so I'm, a I'm actually hot sat here right now I'm not gonna lie so the past 24 hours have actually been kind of awful for me I have been in the worst pain I think I've been in in a very, very, very long time. So basically, long story short, I've had like severe stomach pains, but the worst I've ever known, my stomach feels like the size of a literal, well, I feel like I've got a family of five in me. I, my stomach has never felt so bloated and expanded in my life. And actually it's pretty weird because the past like week, even when I went to the NTAs and stuff, I was having really bad stomach pains. And it almost felt like the worst period of pains of my life. But I kind of just had to get on with it because I was like at events, doing stuff, blah, blah, blah. It's the current situation, just getting glammed. Guys, we have changed the dress. Um, oh, Jack, I've just realized you're actually in this, <laughs> trying to hide, sorry. Um, I was wearing a black dress, but I'm now wearing the same dress but in brown. I bought both options and everyone has voted to go for the brown dress. That is in fact what I'm doing. But yeah, look at this. This is like oh, just so much makeup and hair products. Wow. Okay, guys, we are ready. So happy with my outfit, my makeup, my hair. So happy, I literally haven't vlogged, I'm so sorry. Like, it is so full on actually getting ready for things like this because time just goes by so quickly. Like, I can't even tell you. So I'm really sorry I haven't yet actually vlogged anything, but we are gonna leave now, get in a car and go. I'm so excited, it's gonna be such a good night. This is my dress. Such a sleigh, if I say so myself. Okay, I need to stop saying sleigh and we need to go. My man just give me a chew and gum and that. Who needs a man with you got man. me? <laughs> and then went to the beer, I was like, oh, we we're talking about boyfriends and stuff. And I was like, I wish I like a boyfriend now. She's like, what do you mean? I buy you flowers. I do this for you. I was like, yeah, you are the closest thing I've got to a boyfriend, to be fair. So I will take it. But um, we just went for a little toilet break. We're so, so happy that Paul O'Grady won. Libby is also obsessed with dogs. Like, the excitement when there was a dog on the stage. No, You've never seen fair. anything quite like it. <laughs> Basically, it was saying thanks, for, thanks everyone for coming. Thanks yeah, for it was. It was. It didn't sing. I thought it was going to sing. Oh, we've gone too far. We actually keep doing this. Also, I hate vlogging when I have a chewing gum in my mouth. It's not a vibe, so I do apologise. me about all these tv shows i didn't realize how much spare time this girl has she's seen every one of these tv shows it's just great it's just always amazing <laughs>
we are the camera is probably bad quality but we have just left the NTAs it was such a fun night we decided not to go to the afters we're not drinking at the moment Libby and I and we are in fact going to the gym tomorrow morning so yeah we had such a nice night it was so funny like loads of people didn't even actually watch it like me and Libby sat there and watched the whole oh, we thing obviously we were so invested it was so good and so many people we wanted to win awards once so yeah it was really good but yeah we're now heading home back to the hotel which I haven't even showed you yet so I will show you that either when I get back now or in the morning I'm not sure we're home honey we're home guys this is how I've been walking oh my god I got packed like this so with my feet out and my heels in hand i was so embarrassed anyways we're back at the regular and we can't get in which is always good isn't it lives but libby did bring the key so we love that yesterday i was out doing my food shop and i had to leave everything in the trolley i was literally sat no how embarrassing i was sat in the floor like on the floor in the middle of tesco's with tears streaming down my face because i couldn't even make it to the car without sitting down i just wanted to like scream and cry anyway it's also short i had to leave all of my shop in there got back to the car obviously got home as soon as i could all last night i was up all night in absolute agony so basically it's all just like in my lower stomach but it's like severe shooting pains i was so close to taking myself up to the hospital to to a and e last night because i've never felt pain like it and i'm just not that sort of person like i would never I would never just go to like because I know that the A&E &E gets so busy and I don't want to waste anyone's time so I would never ever even consider that and the fact that I was considering it was how much pain I was in I felt like I was gonna give birth or something like I've, I just haven't felt pain like it this evening it's actually a lot more tame which is good I couldn't get a doctor's appointment obviously the yeah they're just too booked and yeah that's just the situation so i'm hoping that now it's just gonna pass like it feels so much better than it has i'm gonna try and get a doctor's appointment tomorrow so fingers fingers crossed also it's actually like a family's party tomorrow and i really really want to be able to go and not be doubled over in pain but yeah i'm actually feeling okay now which is good i'm actually going to go over to my parents house this evening because i have no hot water in my house Woohoo! i've actually not had hot water for the past week and the plumber did come over to Day and I thought he sorted it he thought he sorted it yeah he was like in 45 minutes it'll all be back on blah 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 and it's not turned on and I'm dying for a bath because I don't know about you guys but I don't like shaving in the shower but like, I feel like I'm the only person my mum thinks it's so weird that I prefer shaving in a bath but I can't get to my legs properly like I don't want to have to bend over like that in the shower and also as well even if i have a shower it's an ice cold shower and i can't physically stand there long enough to start shaving my legs like i just can't do it like i can have a cold shower and that's what i've been doing every day for the past week i've just been washing my body in the cold and that's fine i hate it but it's fine being in there long enough to like shave properly just no so i really really just want to have like a nice chilled evening so i'm going to go drive over to my parents house they're actually not even in they're actually out at a party so i'm gonna go there see bella have a bath shave watch a series or something but yeah i hope you all guys's week is going a little bit better than mine it seems like everything's gone wrong for me this week i'm not even going to get into it because honestly there's so many worse problems in the world than like my little problems i'm so lucky i have a roof over my head and you know i'm still as much as i've been feeling like extremely ill and just in a lot of pain i'm still here i'm still healthy so i have a lot to be grateful for so i absolutely cannot complain whatsoever but it just seems like one of those actually the past few weeks if it kind of feels like someone's been testing me a little bit but it's fine we're gonna get through it life does always get better so i feel like i filmed a video last week get out right with me and i feel like i've just whoop, gone back down but yeah all positive thoughts gonna go get myself a nice bar so yeah should be good also couldn't be bothered to make dinner so do you know what i had porridge <laughs> and my mom did actually say that she had some roast chicken and veg at hers and i just can't even be bothered to cook well the chicken's even cooked it's just i have to cook the roast veg and i just couldn't even be bothered so i just made my porridge here and now i'm gonna head on over right i'm gonna go drive over to my parents now i just packed my pajamas and stuff and i was gonna pack like all of the products that i use when i get out of the bath and then i thought actually i'm gonna use my mum's products because i find it so exciting and i'm just so nosy like seeing other products that other people use and my mum is like so into her like 
like skincare and stuff and she uses like so many different moisturizers and everything else so I thought you know what this is gonna be a right treat I'm gonna go and use all my mum's products um because she absolutely won't mind Libby is texting me non-stop do you know what I'm actually so lucky to have the friends that I have I genuinely hope everyone that's watching this has friends like mine because I'm genuinely so blessed but yeah anyways I'm gonna go there now I'm gonna have a lovely relaxing self-care evening and then tomorrow I'm actually gonna get up I've got a friend's party as I mentioned literally oh why is my car not going oh that was weird I actually think I'm gonna go hoping that my stomach's better I'm gonna try and do the park run tomorrow morning so we shall see but yeah, it's a Saturday tomorrow. So I'm gonna make sure I have an absolutely lovely weekend. I feel weird as well because I haven't worked out in like, I don't know, four days? And that is not like me. But it's because obviously the past like two days I've been in a lot of pain. And then, well, the other days as well I was in a lot of pain. I really think I need to go and get myself checked. <laughs> I feel like I need to get a lot of things checked because I'm actually feel like I have something that's like underlying or something because this pain is like ridiculous. Oh. Okay, well, I need to absolutely stop vlogging now. Anyways, I hope everyone's having a lovely week. This camera is going to go flying as I go around the corner. Oh, it's actually not. I hope everyone is having a good start to the week. I'm actually going to try and vlog, well, until next Friday. So I actually try and film a week's worth of footage. But when I do that, the vlogs are, like, so long. Because I just ramble, as everyone knows at this point. Hello. the nicest bath I honestly sat in the bath for like two hours I think I've watched I don't even know how long these episodes are I must have watched like four episodes in the bath um, and I'm still sat here watching Gossip Girl and believe it or not it's dark out and look where I am so I came into here and the bed was just so freshly made and somehow I've ended up staying here the night my mum doesn't well my mum does know now but I, <laughs> I literally just did a story on my Instagram like sorry just let you know I'm staying here my mum actually loves it when I stay over which is like a rarity I mean the only time I ever really stay over is if I went on a night out in Brighton and then I came back to my mum's because it's a lot closer. So I think she's actually genuinely so happy that I'm staying over because obviously it's weird for them. It's just the two of them now. But yeah, they're both out. So they don't even, well, my mum does know, but my dad doesn't know. But yeah, I'm going to stay here the night just because I can't be bothered to drive home, honestly. I'm so tired. I'm probably going to fall asleep in a minute. So yeah, just going to carry on watching some Gossip Girl and then hopefully I'm feeling so much better now. Like I'm so, so, so happy. So yeah, I'm going to get up in the morning, hopefully hopefully do park run if I don't do park run I'm gonna just go for a run I do actually want to run longer than 5k but when I do park run it makes me run faster than I normally run so I do really enjoy it and the atmosphere is like really really good so if you're somebody that wants to get into running I know 5k can seem like a lot you should definitely try a park run because they have them all over the country and they're free and um, you just turn up it's all like volunteers that run it and it's just really really lovely the community is so nice so you should definitely give it a try but yeah I'm gonna do that tomorrow I'll run so I'm gonna get up bright and early and head home. But for now, this is where this is where I'm ending up. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> well, we've actually already done our good mornings, but I was like, I need to get the vlog camera. And my dad goes to me, is it weird waking up and speaking to someone? And I was like, you know what? It actually is. Because I live by myself, I wake up and I speak to no one. I think it's because that's why you've got so many mirrors in your place, so you can actually see yourself. Yeah, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Anyways, Dad's making his coffee. I did not know he actually even used his coffee machine, so I'm very proud of him for using his and coffee you're machine. Hungry, are you? Yeah, Dad, because it sat there for a while and you didn't even use it, and you paid so much money for it. But now he uses it all the time. And I am making my protein porridge. Dad was going to make us scrambled eggs on toast. He's a really good chef, so I did want him to. But there was no, there's not enough eggs, and I wasn't going to make him go out and get more eggs because I'm kind up. like that. So. It's all right, I'm making porridge. It's just not gonna be the same because there's no blueberries. There's no blueberries. So I'm sad about her. <laughs> Child. <laughs> Very nice. Oh my god, I'm going to get ready pack all this stuff up and bring it to your mum. I said it yours last night. I thought you exactly. want to get ready. Get ready of me. Of mine. <laughs> so, everyone, 
Um, Mum and I have been at my grandparents' house this morning and I didn't vlog anything. We were sat in the garden and it is like, all of us have said we're excited for autumn. All of us. We are honestly the biggest Brits, but it's just like unbearable hot right now. I can't even hold that. You I'm so hot. I know because it's too loud. That's why. Well, I don't care. Put it back on. Oh, you missed her. Because oh I sure God, have. I'm sweating. <laughs> Anyways, it's Can our friend. Ask? It's Libby's parents' anniversary. What is it? Their pearl anniversary. Yeah. I didn't know this was a thing. That there was different names for different years. But apparently it's their pearl anniversary. Which is 30 years. How many years have you and dad been together for? 30 next year. 30? I thought you'd been together for like 32 no, married, years. married. It's our mar marriage. That's okay. Married 30 years and how many no, years have you been no, together been for? together 30 years, I mean. Yeah. No, you told me like 32 the other day. Oh, have we been together? Longer. Yeah. Married 30 years next year. No, that's what I'm saying. How many years have you been together for? Oh, like, Not married. 34? 34 years, guys. Oh, yeah. how old I, I can't even do one year. <laughs> no, so we're going to their anniversary party. It's at their house, but obviously it's Libby's mum. So all of us girls are going, like all of my friendship group. It's going to be really nice. Um, so yeah, it's going to be really fun. I was in the car with Libby's dad. The other day he picked us up from the train station and dropped me home. And he was like, oh, we're going to have karaoke out. And I love me a bit of karaoke. And he was like, but we're not allowed musicals. I was like, how dare you say that? Because when karaoke comes on, all I sing is musicals. So we are changing that. I'm hoping so after this happens. A few mark. couple, a few couple of wines. I feel like he's gonna change his mind. At least I hope so. Couple. Huh? A few couple. Is that what I said? Yes, a few couple. Makes no sense. I can't get my words out today. I actually can't. After he's had a couple of glasses of wine, he will change his mind. If not, Wendy will convince him to change his mind, won't you? What are you singing on? Um, well, what just, are you singing I'll just tonight? Just to sing unless he changes his mind. And like, okay, fine. <laughs> what would you sing Actually, though? What would be your voice. karaoke uh, song of choice? Oh, I don't know. It'll be something country. Con no, definitely. it wouldn't. You don't know any country music. No, the old fashioned, not the new country stuff, but the old fashioned stuff. What about pink? I thought you'd oh, choose pink. I wouldn't sing that on karaoke. Why? You, you sound amazing. I want to that. <laughs> <laughs> the lighting's really bad. So the last time you saw me, I was in the car with my mum, but now I'm in the car with Harriet. And I'm all maked up, we're all ready. We're going to Libby's. I actually just dropped my parents off there, but then I just went and picked Harriet up. And believe it or not, although my birthday was forever ago, Harriet and I haven't seen each other in the longest time. And I just keep so, forgetting. So. <laughs> and I keep forgetting because she keeps saying, can you remind me? I need to give you a birthday present. And then I forget. So anyways, she's going to quickly give me my birthday present. So I'll open them quickly on the vlog. Right. <laughs> okay. So open... oh, this bag is the cutest thing ever. Okay. So little card and this is little princess but it's not princess for the day it's it's princess forever isn't it <laughs> is that what it says yeah <laughs> oh this I is know, the cutest and card. i circled that one for us oh i didn't realize you yeah when i was that. reading it I'm so that good. is so cute i accidentally put 24. is it 23 Oh my god, 15 years. I know. That's actually mental. Aww, thank Love you. Girl. I don't understand how people don't enjoy cars. Like, cars are actually I, my favourite You know I literally car. keep mine, like, in a shoebox. Do box. you? Yeah. See, I went through a stage where I did that. Like, I'll keep that because you've written a lot in it. But, like, if someone just says, like, happy birthday, yeah. love, then I'm not mm. going to keep it because I'm like, what's the point, really? But... Um, okay. Right, I'm going to have to awkwardly early. open this. And um, also, we're absolutely sweltering right now because we now can't have the air on. Oh what is it? What is it? There's little bits in the bottom, but open that one. <gasps> yeah. You're joking. Did my mum know? No. What? It's so weird because I was watching the vlog and I was like... I was literally, the other day, I was online, like, added this in my bath together for, I can't do no, it, I can't they, do you it. You know, I was annoyed because I wanted no. you to wear it to London. Oh my God, it would have yeah, been so I well with that outfit. Oh my God, I love it, guys. It's the silver one. Where did you get it from? It was somewhere, like, an, it, it was the page. the page that I got, my mum got mine from. I don't know, it was like an Olivia Insta page. Sales. I saw it. It then... might have been from the same one because I know they do it in silver. Oh my God, thank you so much. Oh, girl. Girl. But I'm going to... Oh, I think I'm not going to take it now. I actually have to empty all my stuff up my bag, but thank you. Thank you. Okay, and then this. It's a little bit to your face in <laughs> the bottom. Thank you, Bert. You oh my them. God. They probably melted in here. Cookie dough. Yummy. Absolutely. Chocolate buttons. These are. Mine and Harriet's tradition is going to the cinema and getting chocolate buttons and popcorn and mixing them together. It's so good. So and good. And then. Oh, little... you need to get me anything out. Yeah, just a little thing. Oh my God. Thank you. Is it a voucher? Yeah, it's a voucher, but it's annoying because Ooh. you can't actually get vouchers for them now. So we had to get a Selfridges one and then Ooh. put it in that. I don't know why. Thank you so much. Thank you. Love you, Gary. Love you, man. 
Do you know what? Libby's got me a face gym voucher as well that I still haven't used. Yeah, she said you lost it. No, I've still got it. Oh, no. yeah. surprise me. No, no, I still have it. We were talking about it the other day. She was like, that's so funny because I got her one as well and we didn't tell each other. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I actually do still have it. So I need to at some point go and get myself a good facial. I don't know what all my friends are trying to say about my skin. <laughs> but <laughs> Anyways, we're going to get out of here because I'm absolutely oh sweltering right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> She's an amazing chef and she owns a cafe. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited. Keisha is like my favourite thing in the entire world. So I'm so, uh, so excited. Girls, I'm like, I'm girls. And they don't even realise that I'm vlogging. Mum's just talking about the fact that she cries about this. My girls! My girls! My girls! Do you know what's so funny is me and Libby were standing next to my mum. And obviously all of us are so warmed now. And I looked at Libby and I was like, oh my god, that's literally us in 20 years. Literally. And they were never us. They were never us because me and Joe were party right. girls. Yeah, and these really girls were boring AM. What? We are party girls. Now, We've been told now, to rein it in by our mothers. Yeah. And that's why right. now you become the party girls. And yeah. Joe are like, Woo! no girls, go back to being boring, please. Boring, please. We like the boring girls. I know. Thank you for telling us we're boring. Are you know boring you? girls don't give you a headache. Whereas It's weird, I felt hungover even though I didn't drink a single thing. I think literally just because I had a late night. But um, I ended up having to go help a friend in a crisis. So I didn't end up vlogging the rest of the day. But today is another organise the life day. Went to the sauna. Pulled this morning. There's no point in me like trying to vlog it because obviously I just can't vlog. I can't vlog in the sauna. I'm out of breath. Just for walking up the stairs. Jasmine's over today, she's helped me clean and reorganize my life. So we reorganized all my makeup yesterday, decided what I was giving away, etc. It's another day and we are sat watching Gossip Girl whilst going through my makeup, like makeup that I've had. This basket has been full for so long and I've just been meaning to sort it out for the longest time. So we're going through things, brand new things that we can send to women shelters, um, things that we can give to charity. The girls are taking a few bits as well why not <laughs> some tweezers yeah but look how much there is and honestly this is just one basket so i'm gonna feel just so satisfied as well once it's once it's all done and now oh my god i'm actually exhausted and now i'm going to sort out all of my drawers and stuff let me show you how messy my wardrobe and my room looks right now Okay, so this is the situation. Stripped off the bed sheets, gonna sort my bedroom out. This is a pile of stuff that I've just had around my room. So I put this in a pile, so I'm gonna go through this and sort this out. And then Jasmine and I are going to tackle this. I mean, it doesn't even look that bad on the camera right now, but it is just very messy. Look at it, but this is because we've been going through all of the drawers. Sorry to actually do this with my foot, but the drawers are now pretty much empty. So yeah, we've got a lot of organization to do. The spare room is like, how do you explain, <laughs> how do you explain what the spare room is? It's basically um, my... about it. it looks about, it, yeah, it looks yeah. about as good as this one does. Yeah, so we're going to sort that one out. For us. We have. And we how good is Jasmine coming over to help me do this? <laughs> what an angel. What an angel. But I get supplied with lovely food. She's a great cook. <laughs> I know, I've just got a mind to turn the stove off. <laughs> and also she goes, what we got tomorrow? Fajitas? <laughs> yeah, I love them. <laughs> Because 
I start things and I hate finishing it because it looks worse for it looks it better. Does, it does. But we are gonna get there. We Look are at my get hair there. tools. So I've got to make a bit of decision. You can't have four curling irons. <laughs> you don't need them. You've got to choose. One, two, three, or four. Okay, right. We are two very, very proud and happy. Probably more me happy than Jasmine, but definitely both very satisfied. The wardrobe is so tidy. Everything's been dusted, cleaned. I don't even know what else to say. Like everything <laughs> is spotless, organized. I can actually get into my hair drawer now. Believe it or not, like this probably actually, look, this looks messy in the camera, Jazz. But it's funny because this is actually so organized. Like I know where everything is now. Not everything's just shoved in a cupboard. Um, like this, I could probably make a knee tub, but there's no point. These are like, well, all of my spare products which is still a lot but believe it or not this is everything of mine now whereas before this would have probably been like an eight yeah. so we've definitely got rid of a lot of stuff yeah it's just it all makes a lot more sense but it probably doesn't even look that organized <laughs> to you guys but it is had a lot of rearranging. I'm sure at one point I'll probably rearrange this wardrobe as well. Although it does look very wintry. Because when I got my wardrobe actually organised, I got it organised for winter. So it still does look quite wintry. But there's probably some bits that I'll like swap out. Put in the loft and stuff. Or like put in my other cupboards. And then Jasmine's just modelling yeah, the bedroom. The bedroom. <laughs> look at the clean bed sheets. Oh my goodness. Best feeling ever. By the way... I really, really, really need to get a picture here. I am going to get a picture there. So I'm going to do that at some point. I've never really got round to finishing my bedroom. I've been saying for a while I really want to get a bench here. Uh, there's there's quite a few things I want to do, but I've just not really got round to it. So at some point this week, I'm actually going to try and do that. But now Jasmine and I are just about to tackle. No, I'm not saying we're about to tackle. No, that one's not. <laughs> this one's not done at all. In the slightest, <laughs> we are just about to tackle all of this. Oh, the products are just getting out of hand. And all of this. This morning, I travelled up to London like so early that I honestly couldn't even get on my vlog camera. I fell asleep on the train. My mum called me three times, by the way, to make sure I was up and awake. I was like, Rebecca's been up since 5 a.m. making sure I was up and awake, so I'm fine. And you've woken my nap up actually because I was on the train and I basically slept the entire time. Um, but anyways, this morning I am doing a panel with Eucerin. Well, I said this morning. I've done it this morning and I'm doing it for the rest of the day. Just having a pit stop, having some lunch um, I'm gonna probably actually we've got a few hours I'm gonna walk around London have a little have a little window shot um, and then I'm going back for another panel with Eucerin I spoke about Eucerin a lot but they are a brand that's been really really helping get rid of my post acne marks so yeah I'm really happy to do this talk with them um, and it's gone really well so yeah that is today so mine and Rebecca's order is exactly the same we both got the truffle chicken without the egg and we've got a side of broccoli and then also because the green beans from here are unreal I've got the green beans and roasted almonds as well. So look how delicious this looks. I don't even think it's 12 o'clock, is it? I'm waiting lunch. 12 11. But 12 11, all right. <laughs> Never felt tiredness like it in my life. 
from home as you can tell and I look like an absolute mess I've not washed my hair I wash my body after Barry's they have the nicest showers and like body wash and it's so good they have deodorant and like hair bands and just like everything you could ever need but I didn't wash my hair because I didn't want to like come home with wet hair I would have been so cold the weather was absolutely vile in London but I was actually excited about it because I'm so genuinely excited for autumn no one even understands I've just done a big Zara shop and I'm gonna do like a big haul it's gonna be a whole video on here so look up for that and, and well let me know if that's something you actually want to see like do you want to see a whole big Zara haul or do I just like include some bits in a vlog I don't know but let me know I honestly feel like I'm talking gibberish at this point I'm so sorry look the day I do a skin a skin um panel it's the day that my skin breaks out and like, what actually is the chances this side's fine but this side for some reason it's always my left side it's so weird and this spot to be fair I've been picking it which is not good same as this one and I have one here as well look look all that look at my pigmentation here it looks really bad I don't know why but it, do you know what I find really weird when I start eating healthy my skin always breaks out before it gets better anyways um I'm gonna end this vlog because I feel like I've actually vlogged a lot the past couple of days and we've like come into a new week so I'm gonna vlog the rest of this week I'm actually spending a lot of the week at Jed and Imogen's which could be really nice I'm seeing my favorite comedian no one even understands how excited I am I paid an arm and a leg for these tickets but I'm so excited and I'm pretty sure I'm going with Jed which should be really nice so yeah I'm really excited to vlog the next few days look out for that vlog let me know if you made it to this point if you did love you so much love you so much I'm I'm really I've never felt tired it's like it this is the most like horrible angle but can't even bother to lift the camera up because it just hurts but anyways thank you guys for watching I'm gonna sit and watch some Gossip Girl for the second time over um so yeah night guys love you